the Visa Art Gallery and Student Exhibition Space at Brock University's Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts is proud to present a new exhibit. The exhibition today, uh, Translations, is a student uh, invitational photography exhibition. What I did with this show is I invited several students to show specific pieces of work, some from uh, coursework and some that they've been doing on their own. This show is a cross-section of students at both the beginning and graduating level. Well, I realized that a lot of the exhibitions that I've organized in the past or that we have had um, are based on specific coursework or a, an, an assignment. And this one uh, provided a bit more freedom for the students to see their work in a context that maybe they didn't entirely envision, which often happens in a professional setting uh, when uh, an art gallery is inviting artists to come together for a group show. You won't always understand how the work will be presented, and it can be both exciting and unnerving uh, to kind of let your work go out into the world that way. And I wanted students to have a bit of that experience. The exhibition allows the opportunity to showcase the interesting work students are doing. When I was first organizing the show, I actually hadn't specifically envisioned what I would ask. I started to think about what students were doing, how some of the work might be interestingly placed together and create meaning through that placement. So I had no preconceived ideas of what the work would say, um, which is why the, the show is titled Translations. So one of the great things about the program here, the studio art program at the Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts, is that um, it provides the students with the opportunity to explore many different mediums, including photography. Another great thing about the program is that students have the opportunity to exhibit like they are here today in a professional gallery type setting and get those real world experiences. This exhibition presents both digital and analog photographs, so photographs that were made in the darkroom. In this case, a specific series by Sarah Martin are solarized portraits. So she used um, a film negative of a self-portrait and she reproduced that same portrait multiple times. Uh, yet, the result is they each look unique because of the solarization, which is a special experimental process um, that you can uh, work on in the darkroom and so I'm always encouraging the students to incorporate both digital and analog not as separate entities but also um, working together so the larger image of Sarah that we then digitized is originally from an analog practice so we're amalgamating and blending and combining and, and testing the limits of you know, what can we do, what can students do, how can they learn that these aren't necessarily separate processes, but processes that are just different, both for photographic outcome. At the MIW, we have over 70 events that occurs on a yearly basis. It really complements the day-to-day -day learning that goes on in our facility, you know, from monthly art exhibits, uh, theater performances to weekly recitals and guest speakers. We have a variety, we programmed a variety of events that really connects with our diverse student base. Not every student at the MIW is from a bit fine arts uh, background. Um, some students here are uh, taking majors of the visual arts, music, uh, theater, or studies in arts and culture, but some students here are also taking uh, just electives, right? So we find it very important to have a variety of events that are very that is very inclusive and collaborative with our students. Translations will be on display until January 31st. In Niagara, you're watching the source.